Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another ultra rare Class B motorhome from Parkway RV Center. Folks, this is considered the cream of the crop of the Rolls Royce of Class Bs. They don't make them anymore. These things were a very limited production when they were new and they were in business for over 40 years. It's a Chinook. Folks, these are designed and built up in Yakima, Washington. They're designed for ultra cold weather. They're a true Four Seasons motorhome. Folks, these are considered the ultimate Class B. Uh, they are just in a class all of their own. And if you look online, you're going to find maybe four or five of these for sale nationwide. And none of them for the price I'm going to sell this one for. This is a 2000 model Chinook Concourse. It's 21 feet long. It's got the 6.8 liter Triton V10. It's got a 4KW generator, Onan generator. I've got both of them running right now powering everything up inside um, now I did a video on this thing a couple of weeks ago and I did it before we cleaned it up before we put tires on it before we did several other things to it so I'm going to redo this video and I'm going to redo the price and I'll go over that in a minute while I'm doing that um, this 6.8 liter Triton V10 it shows 79,000 miles now folks let me go ahead and get this clear out of the way we had an issue with this other day we're a Georgia licensed, bonded, insured RV dealer. Well, Georgia law states that every vehicle this age, regardless of what's on the odometer, regardless of what's on the title, it doesn't matter if it's a car, truck, motorhome, semi-truck, motorcycle, if it's got an odometer on it, folks, and it's this age, it is sold as exempt. It doesn't matter the state you live in, because you're buying from a Georgia dealer, that is the law and I can't change it it's been the law for over two decades now so and I had a deal I had a customer come from up north to buy this and they did not understand that and they backed out because all of the paperwork says exempt on the mileage folks this unit it shows 79,000 miles but your paperwork will be exempt and you can tell from the condition of it this thing's not you know it's not it's it's a nice motorhome but I just want to clarify that any vehicle I believe it's 12 years old and older is sold in Georgia as exempt only and you cannot do anything about it we can't do anything about it so just get that out of the way but folks show 79,000 miles we just put a brand new set of tires they've got less than 20 miles on them they're just a couple of weeks old what's neat about these Chinooks is everything from the cab back is a solid one piece fiberglass shell the roof there's no seams in it it connects up to the forward factory cab and this is all solid one piece seamless fiberglass cab very very expensive to build them like this but folks these chinooks even back in 2000 were just unreal what they cost they'd cost a hundred hundred twenty thousand dollars more than what you're going to spend on a class a motorhome and it's only 21 foot just to give you a comparison, folks, this is a four-door Dodge, two-wheel drive truck. It's longer than this Chinook. <laughs> so you can see this thing is as easy to drive as a van. You can park it in a regular parking spot. Uh, we put the spare tire back on it like it's supposed to. It's got the rear entry door. 4KW generator that's running perfectly right now. It's got the fold-up step in the back. It's got the optional awning. This unit's got a satellite system. It's got satellite receiver inside and it's got a beautiful interior. This is a rare Harley Davidson edition. And folks, uh, they didn't make many of these. I remember back when they built these things new, they advertised these. And it is a factory package. It's got the Harley Davidson logos on the seats. It's got them on the cabinets. It's got the Harley colors, the orange stripe. I mean, this was a Harley Davidson edition Chinook that they built back then. Very, very rare, folks. Aerodynamic gets great fuel mileage. We drove it over 500 miles in. Did great. We towed a little car behind it. Got the canoe rack or kayak rack on top. That's factory. The glass is perfect. There's no check engine lights, the dash air is cold. I mean, this 
For a 17 year old vehicle, this is about as nice as you could ever expect one to be. Roof access ladder, and like I said, it's all fiberglass, maintenance free roof. These are well designed and the best insulated small motor home you're going to find anywhere. And look online, folks. Look at these Chinooks and see how many of them you find for this price. You're, you're going to be looking for a long time. And I've got it advertised for $29.9, but I'm actually going to sell it for $26.9. And the reason for that is you've always, for those of you who watch my videos, we always claim we have the best prices on the internet. Well, I found one of these the other day. It's not the Harley edition, but it was a regular 2000 Chinook 21 foot. And it had 108,000 miles on it. This shows 79,000. And it was 29.9 so we're going to ask 26.9 for this one and that's an out the door price including a major systems check by our certified rv techs let's step on up inside here folks and you see the harley davidson everywhere like i said it's a factory package as we step inside here i've got all the lights on i've got the air conditioners on the refrigerators on and now folks we haven't done a major systems check yet we're going to do that after it's sold but the air is cold, the dash air is cold, the backup camera works. I mean, the refrigerator is getting cold. Obviously, folks, there's not going to be an issue there. Let's start here in the front. It's got 79,000 miles, no check engine lights, no warning lights, brand new tires. And I think we also had brakes put in it, too. So it's got new brakes, new tires. Um... I mean, there's really nothing you can spend on this motorhome, folks. I mean, you basically, what we do is when we check these things out, we cover all the major systems, which is um, the plumbing, the electrical, all the appliances, the refrigerator, the roof air, the furnace, the water heater. We make sure there's no leaks in the plumbing. We make sure the awning's in great shape. Uh, we make sure it rides and drives like it's supposed to. And I've personally driven this motorhome, and it drives great. Um, got Harley Davidson leather captain's chairs. You can see it's got the, that's not a patch that's sewn onto the leather seats. They're in great shape. These are flex steel captain's chairs, folks. Very, very expensive and very comfortable. But that is Chinook for you, folks. Uh, this unit, of course, tilt, cruise, power windows, power locks. Up here, you've got your coach battery disconnect. You've got all your generator stuff and a generator start and stop switch back there. Now, folks, let me go ahead and get our disclaimer out of the way. Um, now, folks, this is a 2000 model motorhome. Uh, this was about $80,000 brand new in 2000. I'm asking $26,900 for it. It's 17 years old. Now, folks, you're saving, gosh, what is that? $50,000 roughly off the price of a new one, off something you can't even get anymore. Folks, let me tell you, that $50,000 in savings comes with a price that everybody has to pay when they buy a used RV over a new one. It doesn't matter if you buy from us, another dealer, or for sale by owner. That price you have to pay in this instance is you're buying a 17-year-old motorhome. Everything on this coach besides the tires is 17 years old. The interior, the plumbing, the upholstery, the appliances, the drivetrain, the motor, the transmission, everything in this motorhome has 17 years worth of use and 17 years worth of age. That being said, folks, it's never going to be new again. It was new 17 years ago for three times the money. It will never be new again. So please don't come in here expecting it to be new. It's going to have, it may or may not have worn spots. It may or may not have scratches, dents, dings. Uh, you know, it may or may not have signs of use on the plastics. It, you know, folks, that's part of buying a 17-year-old motorhome. And like I said, what we concentrate on when we sell and check one out is the functionality. We want to make sure when you take this RV to the campground for the first time that the generator is going to run, which obviously it does. We're going to make sure the roof air is ice cold. We're going to make sure the furnace, the heat pump, the microwave, the plumbing. The uh, We're going to make sure all the lights work, all the cabinets and drawers work. We're going to make sure it runs and drives like it's supposed to, that the bed folds out like it's supposed to, the awning folds out like it's supposed to, and it's in good shape. That's what we concentrate on when we check one out, folks. 
the cosmetic stuff that is part of buying a 17 year old motorhome and it's like I tell people we you could give us half a million dollars for this motorhome and we would strip it completely take it down to the frame and rebuild it from scratch and spend every penny of that half a million dollars and you know what folks it's still going to be a 17 year old used motorhome when we're done with it even if you spent half a million dollars on it can't change it that's what it is and if you're the kind of buyer that's always purchased new houses new construction houses new cars new toys you know buying a used rv may not be a good choice for you uh, you may want to consider, of course, they don't make Chinooks anymore. They make one now, but it's nowhere near the Chinook that this one is. Another company in California bought them a few months ago. They just bought the name, but they're trust me, they're not the quality that these are. You know, your best bet is to spend 100, 120, 150 grand and buy a brand new Class B. That's the only way you're ever going to be happy if you're the kind of buyer that's never bought used before. Now, for those of you who know what used means and what that entitles, that it's going to have use, it's going to have imperfections, and you know what used means and you're buying used because you want to save a lot of money like everybody else does, then we can definitely help you out. This is a 17-year-old motorhome, but folks, I know there's not a hundred of these for sale on the market, but if you somehow, by some miracle, looked at a hundred 2,000 model Chinooks, I can guarantee you this, this will be in the top five of that hundred of them you look at if there was a hundred of them available for sale. Um, and these things, they don't come on the market very often. People hang on to them because they have a cult following. This is basically like an Airstream or a, 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 or a Rialta or a Born Free. They have a cult following. The market value on these Chinooks is astronomical, even compared to the book value. You know, you can look at the retail value of this Chinook, folks, and believe me, if you could find a Chinook for what the retail value says, I'll give you $10,000. I'll buy it from you for $10,000 over retail value just to resell it. But you cannot touch them for the retail book value. Nowhere close. So if you're going to finance this one, you're probably going to have to have ten or $12,000 down. And, and folks, that's just the nature of the beast. You cannot touch. You can scrap one out for what the retail value sells for. And uh, it's kind of like old cars and, and old RVs are the same thing. I mean, they just do not, you know, the value of one like this as this exceptionally nice is worth a lot more than what the book says it does. So I want to go ahead and get that. Like you look at a Winnebago Rialta, for example, a little Volkswagen Rialtas. They've got an eight or ten thousand dollar book. You can't touch one for under thirty grand. That's any account. That's just the same way with these Chinooks. Uh, this is a Penguin Duo Therm Air, and it's also an electric heat pump. Uh, this unit's got a DSI water heater. It's got the original TV that works. The backup camera's been replaced, and it works great. Got the remotes up front. Heated and cooled cup holders in the front. Uh, electronics VCR. CD player, it's got a solar charger right here. Uh, it's got a direct TV receiver. You open this right here up. I'm gonna guess that's a DVD player and I know that's a CD changer. And these are solid wood cabinets and folks, these are all emblems. I mean, they, these are on all the seats. Uh, solid wood, everything solid wood, the cabinets. These are the same high grade cabinets that you'd put in a, in a, in a home. Solid surface Corian countertop, sink, um, built-in coffee maker, microwave, and that is a microwave confection oven that it works. It got its light up right, it's lit up right now. Oh, I've got, I do have the uh, the the little uh, cages for those stove eyes. I take them out because we had to take it to the tire store. They were rattling pretty bad, so I took them out. But they are in here. Um, You've got a six cubic foot Dometic Royale uh, refrigerator freezer. Clean, works great. This is actually a three-way, and that's something you don't hardly see in one of these. Uh, and what that means is that this refrigerator freezer will run off of electric and LP propane like any other RV refrigerator will, but it'll also have the added benefit it running off of DC power or battery power. So if you're driving down the road, you don't want to have to run your propane, you don't want to run your generator, you can definitely run it on DC. Now, it won't get as cold on DC as it will on AC and LP, but 
it can keep everything, all your food and everything from spoiling. Uh, you'd have a big closet here in the back again, folks. Live to ride, Harley Davidson. Live to ride, ride to live. It's got the hideaway buttons like the Airstreams have. That's all got the carpeted interior. These are finished out very, very nicely. Look at this, folks. 140 hours on the generator. That's not even broke in and it's running right now. Runs great. It's got a side bathroom. And this is the whole bathroom's a shower. So you actually got a decent size shower considering that this thing's uh, shorter in length than a, than a full size Dodge pickup truck. So, I mean, considering this isn't much bigger than a high top conversion van, this has got a lot of space to it. You got a medicine cabinet. Well, of course, we're gonna make sure all that works great. And all that's enclosed in the side, got the RV toilet. Another neat feature about this, because it's so small, you can keep this thing comfortable without having to run the roof air and the generator while you're traveling down the road. You can run the dash air and it's going to keep it fairly comfortable in here. Now folks, if you get in 100 degree weather, don't get me wrong, and you've got people riding back here, you're going to want to run the generator and the roof air. But, just for everyday use, that dash air and dash heat's going to keep this pretty comfortable. Of course, I don't, they've got a telephone in here. That's kind of old school, but it's there. <laughs> So I'm sure it's got a telephone hookup on the outside. Um, folks, this unit, like I said, there was one online with, with about 20, 25,000 more miles, but it was 29.9, so I'm gonna sell this one for 26.9. Uh, that's a haggle-free price. That includes some major systems check, and you can see for yourself, this thing's nice. Look at these fluorescent lights. Look at the carpeted headliner. There's no leaks because this is a solid roof. There's, you know, there's really nothing to it. Uh, there's really hardly any maintenance. The only thing you want to do is go up there and caulk about once a year around anything stuck through the roof like a satellite or antenna or air conditioner. Other than that, I mean, that takes probably take you 10 minutes on this little camper. Besides that, man, there's just nothing to it. I mean, just drive it and enjoy it. Beautiful little motor home. It's very, very rare. Uh, 26.9 wheel trade. Uh, financing is available with approved credit. Now, granted, this is a 2,000 models, folks, so I'm not going to be able to get you more than about 60 to, to 72 months financed on this with approved credit. And like I said, you're going to have to have uh, probably 10 grand down minimum. But I really, honestly, the people that buy these are most of the time they're cash buyers. The people that know these Chinooks know what they are. But, folks, 26.9 will trade. Uh, Give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Look online. I strongly encourage everybody to check out our competition online before you call us on this. Look at what for sale by owners and dealers are asking for this. Compare it to this one. Google it. Google 2000 model Chinook Concourse, 21 foot. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about, folks. These You're only going to find a handful of them. And they are a lot more in price. Even some that are older than this one are priced for more than this one. Great buy. Very rare camper. I wish I had a hundred of these on the lot, folks. But there's not a hundred of them, I don't think, in the market worldwide right now of all Chinooks. Very rare. Very fortunate to have this, but... I'm marking the price down and doing this new video and showing all the stuff that we put the new tires and new brakes, the spare, all that stuff, folks. This thing's going to sell. Um, <laughs> I mean, find another one like it. I mean, sure, you can go out and buy these Lexingtons and Kodiaks and, and all these other brands, and they're not bad, but they don't have the quality of this Chinook. This Chinook is second to none. There is, and let me put it to you this way, folks. I've looked at hundreds and, and hundreds and hundreds of class B's in the 20 years that I've been in this in this industry and I will tell you from my personal experience that a Chinook there's nothing better built than a Chinook I like a Chinook better than a born free as far as a quality wise these things are just like I said they're the Rolls Royce of class B motorhomes they're small they're easy to drive easy to park 
the perfect couple's motorhome. Your sofa makes your bed in here. You've got one bed, which is all you'd want to be in a 20, 21 foot motorhome to begin with, believe me. Um, but this is something that a couple can take cross country that anybody can drive from a teenage driver to, you know, if you can drive a car and you're in your 90s and you can still drive a car, you can drive this motorhome. So this is a nice RV, it's gonna sell. Give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. If you still see this thing priced for the old price at $29.9, and you call us, make sure you tell your salesperson it's $26.9. And uh, it's a bargain, folks. Um, as a haggle-free price, I'm not taking any, in fact, I'm down to barely making anything on it now after putting the tires on it and everything else we've done to it, plus marking the price down $3,000 just to keep up with our claim that we have the lowest prices on the internet, so uh, so I cannot take a penny less than $26.9, uh, so please, please don't even ask because I can't. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Keep in mind... All of our prices are out the door, no fees. Uh, there's no freight fees, no dock fees, none of that stuff, folks. Just low prices, easy financing with, uh, with approved credit, no commission salespeople, family owned and operated for 49 plus years. Folks, I got people who want to look at it right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short. We can help you arrange nationwide delivery. Give us a call, drop us an email. I look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.